Hi there, in this video I'm going to be explaining how to create a virtual jotter in your Google Classroom. Um, virtual jotters can be really, really helpful, um, especially if you have a Google Classroom which is monitored by multiple teachers. So in the social subjects department we are moving to single teacher delivery and so we have multiple teachers who are monitoring work being submitted by our a second year year group so it's then difficult for people to email us work when we have different people who are monitoring the classroom so having a kind of communal space where pupils are given their own google doc and um, to type up their answers and submit it via google classroom is very very helpful to us so in this video i'm going to be explaining how to create a virtual daughter for your pupils to use so the very first thing that you need is you have to go onto the Google Classroom where you want your virtual daughters to appear. So I've created this classroom with my friend, um, Mr. Murray from Kafkin High School. He is going to act as my pupil in these demonstrations. Um, so thank you, Mr. Murray. Um, so what I've done here is I have a second piece of work to do. So here I've given him um, some questions on a Word document that's been attached to this announcement. And now I need to give him somewhere to upload his answers to. So I'm I'm going to get him a virtual jotter. So the first thing that you do is go to classwork at the top centre of your page and click on that. Then once you are in this page here, you're going to go to the plus create the little blue button there. And from the drop down list, click on assignment. OK, and I'm sure lots of people are very familiar with this page here. So firstly, in the title, I call these virtual daughters. I know that Mr. Murray does too, along with other colleagues in the social subjects department. Um, I am not sure if other teachers call them different things, maybe kind of hand in or document or anything like that. I think it's maybe a good idea, though, if everyone used the one name for them so that pupils understand that their virtual daughter in biology is the same as their virtual daughter in drama and history. And that way they become used to using, um, using them across the school. So here I'm just going to type in virtual daughter. And in the instructions section, I do like to add a little bit of information just to kind of remind the pupils how to use it in case this is their first time or in case they just forget um, what you'll be seeing in another video that I'm going to be uploading for pupils and carers is they have to remember to click hand in once they've completed their work. This then sends their work over to you and then you are able to provide feedback. And again, I'm going to do a separate video on how to provide feedback on um, virtual jotters. So you should have populated the title and instructions boxes there. And then once you've done that, this is where we actually create the jotter itself. So underneath the instruction box, you can see there is add and there is create. We are going to click on create. And from the drop down box, we're going to click on docs. And that should open up a brand new Google doc in a new window. My computer is a little bit slow. There we go. And what to do once you have this new Google Doc is you want to name it virtual daughter. So you can see here in the top left hand corner, you, it says untitled document. That is currently this document's name. We click on that and we're going to delete that name and change it to, for example, virtual daughter. And then what we'll do is we'll click on this little folder here and make sure yep, it's in my SD history classroom, which is where I want it to be. OK, so that is us set up our virtual daughter. So what you can do is then exit that tab and back to your assignment tab. And down here, so you've got your title, your instructions and then your new document. This can change to your new document name. Sometimes it doesn't. That's OK. You know, you've already changed it. The next thing you need to do, which is very, very important, is on the section where you have your new document. Currently, it says students can view the file. We need to change that so that students can edit their own individual document. So you're going to click on the little drop down. And you can see you've got students can view the file. 
students can edit the file and make a copy for each student. And it's that last option that we need to click. So it should say make a copy for each student. So that means that every student has their own individual blank Google Doc, which they can type onto and it is their own and it's not um, collaborative. No other pupils can access it. It's just for themselves. So once you've done those things, we're going to then have a look at the bar over here the side. So it's in the correct classroom. We want it for all students. You then want to make it unmarked. Okay, add a due date so we can continue the same jother over and over again. And if you want to, you can put it underneath its own topic. So if you use folders in your Google Classroom, so I would use a topic and call it virtual daughter and that means it will save into its virtual daughter um, folder and then all you need to do is click assign and what that should do is then a virtual daughter to classroom and each of my pupils should now have their own virtual daughter and that is pretty much it. so you can see there on the home page I now have my work which I have set for my class and I have this document here my daughter. If you go into the work tab now you'll be able to see for daughter as the variables to use. Okay now you can go ahead and try that for yourself and what I will be doing next is upload another video to show you how to access the work that people submit on their virtual daughter and then how great the kind of feedback feature is on it. Okay. Hopefully that's helpful. Thank you very much.